Hello everyone once again and welcome back to the Foki Mania World Cup 2016. My name is Juan Crystal once again I'll be here commentating for you guys and this time I'll be joining with Deadvid and I'm pretty sure someone else will join soon. I can only hope. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty hyped for this match. We've got Chile vs Japan. That should be a good one. What do you think about this matchup? I mean, this match has the potential to be a really cool one. Definitely. Like, um, I think Japan is superior in general, but Chile showed off that they won in really awkward situations, so they definitely are a team that is a hard worker, so I don't really know what we will see in this match. Like. A lot of weird stuff can happen here. Right, yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, I still think that Japan has the advantage here. Yeah, I do agree with you. Like, um, in terms of long notes, they are definitely stronger. Or at least that's what we all think. We have to wait and see. In B2, if they manage to nail the long notes, as good as they do in B1, because that's a big difference. And since we couldn't see them playing on the quarterfinals, and we couldn't see them playing in the semifinals as well, because both of the matches were wins by default. One was in favor of Korea, and one in favor of them. It's a bit hard to tell how good they will perform on that aspect, but they are definitely showing us the, as the team that should be getting the pressure to win. Chile is most likely an underdog this time, but we are finally entering to the stage where all the top seeds are facing each other. Like, the only uh, eight remaining teams are seven of them are top seeded. Who will go like Team Kyrek versus Team One by default? Who will <laughs> win? <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's going to be a thing. I really hope not. Like, that's not something you want your team name to be. I mean, Team Tiebreaker, it's got a nice ring to it. Team win by default, just not. Oh. I don't it remember sounds which so one, bad. Which one was. Oh, Canada. Oh, actually, the eight teams remaining are top seeded. That's uh, something. <laughs> That's always cool. But it does look like we have a third person here, I think. I believe so. Mr. Third Person, are you with us?
third person. They're still dead. Okay. We don't have a third. <laughs> Maybe one third, day. Third person missing in action. Maybe one day we'll have help. <laughs> Okay, hey, hey, third person, yeah. I'm off. Okay, <laughs> third person. There we go. Team K reporting for duty. How are you doing, Gunner? If you can't hear me, of course. Anyways, it seems like Connor is having a little bit of a of an issue, maybe. So he should be joining us soon enough. At some point, yeah. But anyway, let's see. Seems like the first warm up is already decided for this match, and it's going to be Capitalism Cannon per million difficulty. So that screams Japetsky in my head. I'm not sure if this is a map by him, but. Well, we'll find out very shortly because uh, they have passed. It is past one o'clock, so the moment should be something very shortly. Oh wait, I know that song. Oh yeah, that's we. That was on the finals of the CWC. Yeah, I don't know if this was a map from Jabetsky. I think the player is just getting ready now. Are you reading this chat, by the way? Uh, kinda? <laughs> Read what oh, Archibald you wrote? The, you're, you're, yeah, you're in the chat of the multi game, yeah. Yeah. See, you made, you even made Paraton Snicker what an achievement. I don't know which team decided to pick this one up. Um, Let's have a quick look here. Okay, just probably Japan pick this. The background is a bit Japan-ish, I will say. Like, it so reminds me the, a bit uh, of Intel. Like, yeah, uh, so like the, uh, the crater is a bit Japanese-ish as well. Oh, who's... Terracom. Okay. So, I mean, I, I don't think Chile would want to pick a... A Puritom map and open up against Japan. Well, given that Puritom usually maps long nodes, even less. <laughs> I, I mean, props to Chile, they're more than welcome to, but I don't think they really want to. <laughs> and of course, they need to just. Yeah, like flash and hard rock casually. Well, he's, not holding... <laughs> he's not holding as strong as we are used to see. For him, he's holding 97 this time instead of the usual 100% with Flash and Hard Rock. It is still uh, pretty impressive nonetheless. Oh yeah, definitely. I wonder where Urusai is, um, but I probably know the answer already and I'm pretty sure that Connor knows as well. Yeah. I would not have a clue. Uh, it's that just that Urusai has that tendency of showing in the last second possible, not even playing the warm ups. Some of these patterns look kind of fun to play. Yeah, they, they look pretty fun, yeah. Oh, those those they look really brutal though. Yeah, I was gonna say, that looks just cool. Looks like a Paraton map. Yeah, they, that's, that's <laughs> all I can say. Yeah. How are you, Sin? Welcome, Connor. Hello. Well, assuming like Japan will win the first warm up by a quite large margin over 400,000 points. Well, you would expect them to win on their own warm up pick, especially when Paratom was the one who met it.
and let's see what Bormo decides to pick. Chile is already discussing about it. As I can read. Oh, in the night where the cash is cream. This is a collab between Demito and Blaze again. And Leo actually as well, but I think we already saw this warm up before. We yeah. have. Definitely seen the before. I think this one was picked on the group stages, and Urusai uh, destroyed this map. I'm not here to tell when it was picked, but I, I definitely do that. We have seen this before. Yeah, yeah, it was a warm-up from Chile. I think it was against uh, Thailand or Australia. I don't, I'm not sure which one in particular. But I remember, I remember, I remember Urusai with uh, the really good performance. I think it was like two two hundreds and a ratio that was out of the world. Well, if it was yeah, Urusai just destroyed the map. Actually just destroyed at 99.98% accuracy. Two 200s and 157 normal 300s. Oh man, my memory's on touch. <laughs> 3,702 rainbow 300s. Oh, Intel is actually having issues as well here, at least in the beginning. She's hitting a little bit too early with the flashlight hard rock. I mean, it's reasonable because it's flashlight hard rock, but expecting from him a little bit better as he was usually doing before. Maybe it's the time that is a bit of a problem for them. There's like 10 p.m. over there in Japan. I don't know. I mean, team is still not a bad time to play. It depends on culture and depends on person in particular. Like, for me, it's fine to play at 10 p.m., but... Um, I feel like, for example, playing at 10 a.m. like Chile is absolutely worse. And for some people, it's better because they wake up early, and that's not my case usually. And probably not the case of all South America players, but you have to deal with it. That's how the schedule and you can it's the time is not bad either, so it's not like 6 a.m. or something. No, either way, 6 a.m. that would be horrible. Yeah, that would definitely be a problem. I don't think you could get any of my team to be awake for 10. <laughs> the struggles of the coach. This one seems to be uh, not too bad actually. No, I can tell you this map is at least so far not that hard, but uh, since it is a little bit too long, it's a bit stamina draining because the streams are non stop. Four minutes of this is a bit long. Sign. I wonder if it's because somehow made it into the map or somehow. I don't know which round we should have this map. It had to yeah, that's the thing. Maybe quarterfinals or maybe it just to be simple semis. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we still do have uh, four players with a full combo. It was free when I think the map was uh, part of the quarterfinals. That, that is pretty similar to this. Just that the birds are more easy to get uh, to the time because we are not like other rhythms like this. As that one, everyone missed on that section instead of Intelizer and Snowy. Intelizer, the only player with Lifeline Hard Rock, and the only player still going on strong. What a beast. 
can see Pyrotom is starting to drain a little bit of his stamina and he's getting late constantly. Sip for Intelizer is actually the same thing, he's starting to get a little bit late. Yeah, chewing is gonna have a bit of problems as well. All oh, those jump drills. Yeah, Pyrotom is definitely struggling here. And if they don't have thank you about this match, I can see Chile winning honestly because Pyrotom is there mostly for the long off picks. But I don't know how good he will handle the semi-final speed of your picks. He might not have enough stamina for it or not speed. I'm interested to see what Intelizer's ratio was. Mm, probably really good, but not that good. Yeah, yeah not that good. There's still not too bad for um, in a flashlight. I mean, it's more impressive the fact that he has a like, full home or not on the ratio, honestly. I did get a one bad, but room for error, I guess. Nice roll. So Arkana will be banning first, Chile will get the first ban, and Japan the first pick because they won the roll, 88 to 75. It seems like Urusa is not showing this time, actually. That's what the Chileans are saying. Yeah, it looks like, um, Chile gonna ban that, uh, like Dreamer again, because if he banned this, I mean, like, oh, sorry. <laughs> Exact same. Uh, no, actually, no. There was the apparition last time on the golden side. So, kind of similar. First pick is going to be Sumo win. I suppose it also makes sense to ban that Dark Play Dreamer because uh, Paracom did map that. So. But it's also the hardest long note map in the pool. And Japan definitely has the long note advantage. Yeah, and without Urusai, you don't really want to pick long notes either. Okay, yeah, and it looks like we're going to be starting up with Sumo White, which is something we've seen quite a bit of actually. Not surprised to see Japan start out with this map because I know Intelizer is ridiculously good at slow jams, and that's what about the first third of this map is. Oh! Looks oh, like he, one he was, appeared. Uh, Someone appeared. Looks like one hit the nail on the head. Here comes Urusai. Right, while we wait for the Mito being replaced here by, I believe it will be Urusai. I'm not sure if he has enough warm up, but this map in particular doesn't really need too much warm up because it's pretty slow. Alright, well it looks like we do have Urusai in the room now, so hopefully we should be ready to go with this first match. Oh no, that sounds like no. bad Urusai. That is the one thing you don't want to happen. You gotta place your keyboard a little bit sneakier. Unlock the door. This it wasn't locked was the song happening. of the pool, actually. No, this lock kick can construction, but I can't think of anything else closer. Oh, uh, pretty close. Yeah. 
Anyway, let's see. Japan against Chile. Now Chile with Urusai, which is what they needed. Let's see. How is the result of this one? Long Nose definitely being a, a counter to the Chilean team. But we will see how good Japan can do on this. I know for a fact that Snow Wind is not the best player when it comes to Long Nose. But Pirvatom and Intelizer are, in general, really, really good when it comes to Long Nose. At least in B1. But I don't know about them in B2. I wonder if they have a third player around at the moment for Japan. Uh, fourth, sorry. Well, maybe it is Thank You, but Thank You is not better than Snow Wind on Long Nose, I think, either. Yeah, he's a full on step mania. No Long Nose for him. Oh dear. Well, everyone in Chile is just having an immense amount of issues. Bastian Araja, it's on 93% for some reason. So, it's holding a little bit too much behind. And because of that, Japan is getting a really good lead at the early beginning, which is something that you want in this map in particular. Around 100,000 points of difference. Not even Uruzai or Arkana are being able to keep up their performances. Even though Snowwind had a bit of a slip in the beginning, now he's holding 99.37, which is pretty good. But he, met, he makes a mids over there in the faster section. This is the point where Chile should start to catch up closely if the Japanese players start missing, because this is definitely the easier part for them without the slow. Oh, I mean, you say that just as Bastion and Arkana both miss, so... and Urusai as well, so this is not looking good for Chile at all. Well, if, they, if there was a point where they could recover a little bit, was this one, and they're not doing it. Long Nose are still too strong for them anyways, even though without the slow gems. Although Pyrotum finding a miss over them might open a bit of a chance, but half of the map already in, and Chile is not showing any kind of recovering, and Intelizer is just still going with the full combo, 99.92. Yeah, I mean, Chile seems to be uh, starting to hold any sort of combo. Uh, Pyrotum is already out comboing all of Chile and Snow is really close. Like, yeah, the score pack is just too big. In fact, I think all of Japan is out comboing Chile. Snow Wind is quite close to Urusai and Arkana, but I think he's a little bit ahead. If only even just. Over there and Bastion. Yeah, this is this is looking to be a pretty good pick from Japan. Chile just don't seem to be able to keep up with this map. Earthside doing a pretty a pretty good performance over there, but number wise and especially accuracy wise, he's not really matching up with Japan enough. Yeah, even for Odosai, which is a decent long no player, he's not being able to like to even get it close to the worst score of the Japanese team here, so Long Nose definitely is something that Chile wants to avoid this matchup. Meanwhile, something that the Japan team wants to pick all throughout this matchup. I hope we see apparition. No, I don't. Like, it's 10 a.m. in the morning, I woke up not so long ago. If I hear apparition, I will just leave again. <laughs> I think the only reason to pick Apparition would be if the Chile team just want to extend the match. I can't Maybe, see Japan I don't know. It. Like, um, if Denku is not here, picking Apparition is not a bad idea because Piraton will probably have issues with it. And if you can, like, drain a little bit of the stamina that the Piraton has, you can do a little bit better in the later maps as well, perhaps. Well, for now, let's see what uh, Chile are going to pick here. Any ideas? Because if you were thinking Love X Love Whistle, you are correct. Which is a pure tom. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, this one is like on the edge of being uh, one of the easier maps on the pool, so. 
makes sense trying to outclass Japan in terms of consistency, accuracy. I keep like that. Um, Japan have three of their maps in this map pool. Because they've got Dark Flight Dreamer, which got banned out. They've got Love X Love Voice, which just got pegged. And then they've also got Lemon Summer. Because that was uh, Interlizer. I was expecting the, the Hime Sama song from Chile, but this one is okay as well, I guess. Hime Sama? I don't remember the name. Bow down. Right? Yeah, I was gonna say bow down. You can recall. Princess is the same all night for I lie. Yeah, the princess. The only thing I could think of. But yes, yeah, looking at this match, it looks like Japan does have the a very slight early lead, but it's not that much. Yeah, it was expected because this matchup was probably going to be better for Arkanen on Buru's side when it comes to accuracy and the meter roll, even though he's behind, he's kinda catching up. These bursts are tripping him off a little bit in terms of accuracy, even harder than what Piraton is suffering at the moment, so that's the difference. I don't difference. think he is catching up. I think he's falling behind. Yeah, yeah. That is not good chili at all. They need Dimitri to um uh, Dimitri to catch up and not and not just keep falling behind like this. That being said, over in Japan, Slow One does actually be having a bit of issues as well. But again, but this is the uh, back to back. Although it's still holding a a nice 99 point. Which is too bad overall. This is better on par with um, Arcana, which is good. All the long nose Arcana. And then we just got Interlizer occasionally rocking the double is. Good old be, Interlizer. Wouldn't be that surprised if he ends up getting it until the end. Good old Interlizer. This is like the kind of maps that I expect Nintel to 100%. Yeah, I, I think that's definitely a possibility here. I mean, as you see, this is a bit of a consistency pick, so... Yeah, but he's getting a bit too... a bit early, I think, in my opinion, compared to, like, uh, what we yeah. should expect from him. Still holding it 100%, which is cool, but maybe in the 1-4 streams, like... Maybe he will drop a bit of accuracy, I don't know. Like, here. He's just been holding it, right? Yeah, he's, yeah, he's holding it. No big deal. Chile is doing his best, but not going to be enough to catch up the score here. Urusa is definitely shadowing Piratum and Snowwine in terms of performance, but Arkaner is a little bit behind, and Demito is pretty behind already. Yeah, there's not long left in the song at all. Nintel's still holding the double SO. Time to see if he holds it. I think he can. Not just a matter of this section. But yeah, what's that? That is going to be a second point for Japan along with the potential doubles. Yep, that was 100% yep. by Interliza. Well played, well played. Absolutely nuts. Even a better Rachel than Urzai. That's just insane. I'd expect the next pick from the Japan team to be Lemon Summer. Yep, that's going to be like long no maps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is it here, pretty insane ratio. And yeah, Lemon Summer. Good call. So do you reckon this will probably go about the same as uh, Lovix Love Voice of them? 
not really. This is going to be another win for Japan without too many issues in my opinion. If we can probably see a fail from Chile as we saw against Poland in this map at the end. Also, I think we have another another person with us now. I don't know. Maybe ask. Hey person, are you there? I'm pretty sure I am here. How are you guys doing? Oh, look, we have another another person. <laughs> How are you, man? You looking forward to this one? Oh yeah, but it's looking like Japan's doing exactly as I assumed they would. Uh, it looks like they have the first two points on Chile, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. That's the case. Kind of expected, like, Chile lacks a little bit of a third player, and this level of difficulty is not hard enough for Japan to actually yeah. struggle with the uh, third player. Yeah, that's very much so. Japan, um, while I don't feel that they're their absolute strongest overall, they definitely have a lot more consistency when it comes to something like that. And Chile does have that third member that's not exactly on par with the rest of Japan. And like you said, the pool isn't really pushing Japan to their absolute limits. Yeah, I mean... Even though the maps being selected favors Piratom in many ways because it was the most easy pick, I will say, from the pool, uh, which was Love X Love, and now both long no maps being selected here from Japan, clearly trying to get Piratom into his best state possible and not have issues with that third player thing because if Chile picks something like Legendaria, that can be a point for them because I don't know if Piraton will be able to handle that fast. I mean, that level of speed. Maybe we'll see Thank You joining for that map in particular, but I don't even know if he is here. Yeah, I feel like if they if they're going to just go for the easy win here, Japan needs to focus on the long note picks and not worry too much about the high speed. Uh, that might be Chile's only window to attack and gain score, though, is to attack the high speed song. So hopefully we will see what type of uh, map picks they're going to pick as you know stuff exhausts. There's only so many long note picks that Piratom can play on exceptionally well due to the fact that the pool is, you know, 15 maps. And 14 of them are playable at any time. Only one being saved for tiebreaker. I hope we actually see a tiebreaker. We have two matches today, this being the first one, then we have another one a little bit later on in the afternoon. Oh, it seems like Snowmoon is having a bit of a trouble here from this long no pick. Since this is a little bit faster and overall complex when it comes to long no releases, I can see Snowmoon struggling a bit. He's not the best when it comes to releasing. But we'll have to see. Chile is not doing their best either because the Mido is at 93% at the moment and Arcanary just keeps missing all the time. Interlight yeah. for once, dropping 100% at the early stage. Yeah, that is unfortunate. Uh, Piraton finding a few misses himself, but Arkana really having problems keeping the steady consistency here, and Demi 2's accuracy continuing to drop. This long note pick, definitely not something they really wanted to play. The map's already up over halfway through, and the score gap is now over 200,000. Yeah, the meter fail as well. Worth pointing out. Oh yeah, that definitely um, is going to hurt Chile. Uh, Dimitri really having problems with this. It looks like their uh, scroll speed is a little bit slower than the rest of the team. Not exactly a bad thing, but maybe making these longs a little too clustered to read for him. I will say it's just that he's not really good with longs in general, and I don't know why Chile is not making a substitution here. Like, I think Sevax or Bastian will be better than Dimitri on this kind of maps. Even Arcanet is close to fail right now, and if he doesn't catch up on the burst at the last section, he will probably end up failing the map as well. Let's see if the burst ends up killing someone. 
And no drops all around, but no deaths. Um, but with Demi two getting that fail, that's going to be a very easy, massive point lead there for one million Demi. points of difference. Yeah. Oh my god! I do not believe we've ever seen a match um, come out like that. But th there is a fail there, so that would explain that extremely large um, score difference. But Demi two actually having a ninety percent for that overall before failing. Ouch. Yeah, definitely ouch. Alright, well, let's see what Chile decides to pick now. Actually, picking a Legendary uh, might be not that good of a thing because maybe the Urusai will have issues with his key taps at that speed. Not to mention, you do have to realize that Japan is pretty high end. Like I said, I don't feel that they're the strongest they've ever been, but I don't feel like speed at this level of play is going to slow them down that much. I don't, I don't, like we've seen a few people fail on Legendaria. There's a few areas that can really kill you there, but I don't see that being an actual fear for Japan. I'm actually a little bit more worried about Chile being able to um, pull up that, but it looks like we're gonna go with Egoism 440 instead, because, you know, speed all day. No, speed will be legendary. This is SBs. Like, yeah. it makes sense that Chile is trying to do something with this, because they are currently seeing that consistency-wise and long know wise they have no chance. So, SB is being a good chance for them, I believe, to try and steal at least one point. I still believe his speed is a good pick for Chile, but... They're not going for it. I mean, Urusai and Arkaner are probably faster than Hiratom and Snowwind. I don't know about Intelizer's consistency on that map. He will probably be able to get a, a really, really good score on, but I believe Urusai can even get a better score on Legendary in a good situation, in a good uh, scenario. The ideal scenario for Chile would be one of them, uh, one of the Japanese players not being able to. Um, survive that last section in <laughs> Legendaria. Yeah, but I think Arcanel and Urusai will probably get better scores than Piratom Snowwind and maybe even Intelizer eventually from Urusai. So it's mostly a battle between the how good can Demito perform or whoever ends up participating on it. But anyways, the intro of course being a bit of a pain for Demito here, finding a miss. That slow jam is just really hard. Yeah, overall accuracy not taking too much of a hit, but Intelizer as per norm, 100%. <laughs> yeah, of course. We have to wait and see until the SV, see if he can manage to keep them up. I'm pretty sure he practiced this one, so yep, there you have it. First break is for the Mido, and Intel is still going with 100%. Still going with the first block of SV, still with 100%. No breaks so far between any of the players, but the Mido. Yeah, another thing to point out is, as we've been going through the matches this week, um, Egoism and Love Love Whistle have both had a 100% pick rate, so these are very popular. So the well, practice is definitely there. Yeah, mostly because like Egoism is that kind of map that you have to pick in a really uh, tied up situation, like 6-4, which we, call, we have two of them and 6 threes. And also, this is a map that you have to pick against a team that is stronger than you because it's your best chance with the SVs. But anyways, reaching the end of the map, the difference is around 200,000. And unless someone from the Japanese side fail, I don't think this will end bad for them. Intelizer with only 1-200 on the whole map. And it was on the jacks on the middle. Absolutely insane performance from Intelizer on this one. Yeah, very low uh, gold 300 ratio too. Um, Rainbow's 1461 and Normal's 122, which is absolutely terrifying. That legendary 99.98% when you only get one 200. Just one 200. Just one. <laughs> but anyways, let's see what Japan decides to pick right now. Um, maybe Oshama, but that's 
probably something that Chile can manage. But it's going to be Eviscerate instead. Alright. Yeah, going back to um, Egoism, the only team to have picked it and won their match was the US. Every other team that picked it ended up losing. That's a spooky match, man. So there we go. Japan picking one of the free mod maps just for Intel to bring out the flashlight hardware. Lovely song to listen to early in the morning. Oh, definitely. This one, Apparition, Sapphire, good, good songs. Alright, so we have everybody in there, and we're just waiting for them to get started. Uh, a little bit of banter between both teams going on here. Actually, it just seems to be right now a little bit of Chile talking. Um, Urusai, not looking too confident, saying that they're dead anyways. Oh no. I think he means that he's tired, but... Yeah, but, um... One of them has a sleeping relative and they're using blue keys. No, good sir. That's not good. Your sister oh, will not you. love it. <laughs> You're gonna wake up everyone. Two hard rocks versus three hard rocks and one flashlight. That is not gonna go well. Oh, that's scary. And I don't think is gonna have too much of a problem, so that's really scary. So, Jimmy2 did get a uh, find himself a little miss there earlier. Intelizer holding a full combo. Accuracy not really suffering much at all. Um, Simulon and Pure Tom doing completely fine. Ursite and Arkham are also doing very well. Right now, it's really just the fact that Jimmy2 has no mod and Intelizer is using two. So, really at that point, even if Chile does incredibly well, it's not going to do too much for him. As Intelizer is going to be able to. Oh, they're. Nice. Intelizer was sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did a one. Another miss there for Intelizer, but still, the accuracy is not that bad for him, and the lead is still in the favor of Japan. The normal difference from Chile now, even though it's a safer choice, and I agree with that, it's not paying off, and it will probably not pay off against a team like Japan, which is incredibly strong in general. Like, they have three 99s with Hard Rock and one with Flashlight Hard Rock, so it's like too big of a difference. 30,000 points though is not that insane as a gap, but Japan is looking too consistent at the moment. Arcana is a little bit behind, and that might be a reason because Chile is not being able to catch up as they should be. Urusai though doing a really good job, holding the best performance from their own team, 99.78, actually yeah. the best accuracy on the whole match. You know, what's absolutely scary about that is even though Intelizer's using Hard Rock and Flashlight, Rusai's score is right behind his, just off sheer accuracy and Hard Rock alone. And that's really scary. Yes, it is. But over there, Arkana finding a miss though, for Chile's not a good thing, Snow White as well miss it. Not so long ago for Japan, but as long as they don't drop the accuracy too much, they shouldn't be a big deal to drop the combo in general for the Japanese team. Yeah, I, the only way I see this actually becoming a dangerous situation for Japan is if Intelizer was to like tank a massive amount of accuracy or 
one of the other players, but it's not looking like below 98 is anything of what they're going to go. Well, Snow Wine did find like two or three misses consecutively, but I, like I said, the accuracy is not getting down, so... Yeah, Demi2 did find a miss a little bit ago, so that's going to hurt their chances here. Scores are close, but it's not anything that could be bridged at the moment. We really have to see a choke from either side to really make a definite uh, pull away. But Japan is slowly pulling away with Intelizer's combo, getting into the 2000s now. Jeez, he is just a machine, guys. Well, pointing out though that Piraton and Urusai are still full comboing, and for Piraton it's actually a really unexpected thing. Like, I thought he will have more issues with the Hard Rock, but he's proving me wrong. Really well done by him, and Urusai with his aggress is just absolutely ridiculous. This end section is not going to be long enough for Chile to catch up, and the middle finding a mess is not going to help either, and this is looking to be another point for Japan and there will be a match point to qualify into the finals map pool into the top six of the tournament facing uh, which I believe will be uh, United Kingdom if they end up winning the, the whole match yeah. yeah the winner of this match goes against the UK next weekend in the uh, second to last matches of the losers bracket then the winner of that match goes against the winner of the other side of the loser's bracket. Alright, so that's going to be a point for Japan then. <laughs> Intel Icer, of course, breaking the 1.1 million barrier with Flashlight Hard Rock. And Urusai with an amazing 1.085. That is absolutely terrifying. Japan's going for the sweep here, and it's n not looking like it's out of their power oh, no. at all. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. The, ra the ratio from Urusai, though, is something that I wanted to oh. point out. But Look at the on. Intelizer. Oh. Oh, with three dots. Uh, oh, God, and they're doing it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Wouldn't be funny if Japan is like, okay, you want to delay this more? We are just going to fail the map. Sorry. Everyone wants pancakes. I want pancakes, Octo. Yeah, pancakes yeah, actually don't. sound pretty good. Maybe some strawberries and pineapples on top. A little bit of light syrup. Mm. Nah, you got to do it with the uh, sugar and lemon juice. Mm. That's the good stuff. I've, I've had, um, uh... Yes, whipped cream, indeed. Like, oh god, that actually sounds really good. <laughs> oh man. Apparently locked up as magic hands. But his magic point? hands are meant for popcorn. Yeah, you can eat popcorn berry. Yeah. You have to get that. Alright, so we are about to go through one heck of a gauntlet here. Um, eight minutes long. It's gonna be ridiculous. <laughs> Chile giving a little bit of a send off to their own team. Wake me up. Wake me up inside. I can't wake up. Yeah, I think. Operation is just disturbing me. Can't wake up. Alright, ready for the. Oh, Demi2 already finding a miss and finding another miss. I have my bed right next to me. I could easily jump into the. Piratom finding a miss as well. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why? I, I know the song's long, but I, I don't think it's that long. Hey, hey. I, I did take naps of like 40 minutes, so... 8 minutes couldn't be that bad, right? Yeah, I suppose. But then again, I pretty much, I pretty much slept the entirety of Apparition before the matches started. <laughs> 
I, I slept 10 minutes over. So, you know, yeah. Let's, see, let's think about this. From the whole map that have been picked so far in this match, Apparition is longer than all of the other ones combined, probably. Right? Ooh, that's actually a good question here. Combined. Because Love Love is not that long, if I remember correctly. Then Egoism is pretty short. No, it's not the entirety. It goes over a little bit further. If you remember, the Suma was like three and a half by itself. Yeah. So, like, Sumo win and two more could be like so. At least three of the wins can be combined into the length of this map. And then you go to this way, which is another four and a half minutes. This was just the pool of long, guys. <laughs> Imagine if Chile wins this one. I mean, this uh, map. With Demi2 barely holding the S, uh, I can't see that happening. Well, I can actually see that happening, because pretty much the hard section is already over here. Oh my god, Urusai, please. But, <laughs> but uh, I mean, Peter Tom and Snow White are both 97, and Alkanet and Urusai are both 99, and Urusai has 99.7, so I can see why they don't have a really big advantage in terms of, uh, of Japan, I would say. Yeah, if Jimmy so, 2 can step it up a little bit, they definitely might be able to come back here, but it's like, what do you do when you manage to win on your last hurrah? Like, I feel like while they can do this, um, all their stamina is going to be like, ouch, they've already went through uh, a gauntlet of five matches. They do take this win, then unless they go up against, unless they like, do they have pick priority after this? This was their pick, so the next pick would be Japan, so... It's just, even if they do manage to win this one, Japan can just rebuttal with like pretty much whatever they want at that point. It would be a very uh, nice morale boost to win on your final pick and the longest map in the pool, though. Even if Chile do manage to win this map, there is still one long no pick remaining, so. Yeah, and that, that's what I was kind of saying, Connor. It's an open, easy way for Japan to, like, seal the deal. I mean, if anything, this is a very good way to extend your life in the tournament. Yeah. So the question now would be, is Eliza it, it is very possible. Um, Going into this match, Entelizer can possibly uh, beat out the best accuracy so far. The lowest accuracy was a 99.1 from Hayabusa, and the highest was a 99.7 by Zyp. Oh man, the chokes by Agata there on that uh, section. And at the moment, Entelizer's at 99.93, so looking to beat the overall highest accuracy for this map in general. And luckily, that's not too hard to do, as this map has only seen one other play. Well, even Urusai is having a better accuracy than Sif. So yeah, right here, it seems like the meter managed to recover a little bit, but with a couple of streams over here, maybe he will get a bit of a hit, but it's not looking to be the case. Argonaut, though, will be the one that's in for Chile. And the difference is it just went too big right now instantly. It's like uh, 30,000 points, maybe even more than that. No one in Japan is having issues. Not to mention one, Entelizer also crushed the all-time high combo so far for this map being played this week. The highest combo was 4,133, which has been absolutely shattered. <laughs> 5,000 combo, how long can you get? Yeah. 
going with a bit of a misses in consecutive over there, but not going to hurt enough for Chile to catch up. A little bit of a slow section here, challenging a little bit your accuracy. If Uruzai or Intel managed to break the lowest 300 count here though, that which was 950, I'm pretty sure that probably both of them will beat that. I just went to check to compare Intel's current score to his uh, ranked score for this map, but it doesn't seem like he's actually submitted the score for it yet. <laughs> oh no, he combo breaks! Intel, you were too close. So no one is starting to drop a little bit the ball. Same for the Mito. And Piratom is actually struggling quite a bit on this section. Alcatan not being able to catch up. But Piratom has no win. Should take care because they are missing a bit too much. I thought the song is almost over. And Demito and Akana did have a lot of issues before. And because of that, they won't be able to capitalize all those misses that Japan had. And with that being said, this is going to be the end of the road for Chile already. Yeah, they definitely gave it a good shot, but it's just not going to be enough here. As Japan just outclassed them, it looks like, um, in all aspects. They gave it a final run, but... Not strong enough. It does look like Intelizer might have actually also crushed out the max score no, for this. No, <laughs> Oh, whoa. Whoa. Uh, Intelizer has an overall higher accuracy, but um, Urusai's, um Rainbow 300s are just ridiculous. Oh, man. Urusai that is thinks. scary. I told you that Uruzai is halogen tier level of accuracy. Maybe even better than accuracy. The uh, halogen in accuracy. You, you, you will see more of, of this guy next year probably. If they um, end up being participating here. But for now, that will be it for Chile. On the tournament, they will qualify into the top 8. And being eliminated by Japan is not a thing that you have to feel sad for, honestly. Like, such a great team that Japan is. Very much so, and as you can see, they're closing up in the chat. They're being incredibly good sports. Um, everybody congratulating each other, respectively. An awesome way to end a tournament run. You guys did incredibly well, Chile. Residential tiebreaker team all the way. You guys gave it your best. It's just Japan is going to advance. Yep, that's going to be it then. 6-0, another clean sweep out to the list. Now this time in favor of Japan. Alright, that being said guys, we have one more match later on today. But before that match, we will be going over the Map Pool Showcase for the finals next week. After the Map Pool Showcase has been showed off, we will go directly into our last match of the weekend. And that will be in about... See here. The match is, yeah, the match is 7:30 p.m. UTC. So, Maple Showcase might be like 6 off. I mean, 6:30, maybe 6 p.m. UTC. Yeah. Well, the Maple Showcase is about 55 minutes long, so I'd imagine it will probably start about an hour in the front. Yes. So that's definitely probably what's going to happen. Um. So yes, our match is set for 7.30 p.m. UTC or 19.30 UTC um, for those that go off full military time or just 24 hour clocks. That being said, so at 18.30 UTC, I do believe we will have the map pool showcase. Yeah, we will be back with more coverage later, guys. And remember, rhythm is only click away. And don't be gone for too long, because in about three... 
in about four hours roughly we will be going over the map pool showcase so we'll be back soon folks have a good one Bye. 